well today we are going to talk about the windows 10 as you can see here the announcement from the microsoft your pc will continue to work but support for windows 10 it discontinue after 14th of 2025 your windows 10 pc will no longer receive security updates and microsoft will no longer be available to provide the windows 10 technical support so this is an announcement from the microsoft and i hope you know all about this but what will happen after the 14th of October 2025? So Microsoft have also verified that is called the ESU support that is extended security update program. So Microsoft have written a blog here. They are announced that the extended security update ESU program is a last resort option for customer who need to run certain legacy Microsoft products past the end of support they are not intended as as long as the term solution but rather as a temporary bridge to stay secure while one migrates to newer supported platform it indicates critical important security updates up to three years and after the products ends of the esu now one is very important point here guys it includes critical and important security updates up to three years after the product's end of extended support date it means that once this date is passed you can still receive the ESU support but that is based on the paid version guys you have to pay for that so what are the products to be included ESU availability dates are here so this one is for Windows 10 as you can see here November 11 2025 and this one is for three years critical and important updates but you need to pay here for some amounts you can keep running on the Windows 10 or you need to update your hardware so that you can meet the Windows requirement or you can switch to another operating system like Linux and Ubuntu on the hardware which you are running and that is not compatible with Windows 11 now the if you continue to run Windows 10 after the this date so will your Windows and PC will be secure so I can say no your PC will be not supported and not secure once this date is passed because the security updates and patches will not be ruled out by the Microsoft but if you use the light browsing and other things on your Windows 10 so I should suggest you to keep running on them but the sensitive data you should not browse on Windows 10 and some of the breaches for the security breach may happen so when I come over to this website and they are talking about the how much you are need to pay so as you can see stay on supported version organization legacy higher risk security breaches and potential compliance violation while Windows 10 PC will continue to function after they reach the end of support they will no longer receive the security update bug fixes feature improvement or security issues or resolution so they are also suggesting to upgrade to Windows 11 if your PC is meeting the Windows 11 requirement but if you want to extend the security updates so here are the list so you can purchase the ESU license for Windows 10 devices that you don't plan to upgrade to Windows 10 starting in October one year before the end of support the price will be double every consecutive years for maximum of three years if you decide to jump into the program in one one year two you will have to pay for one year two as ESU are cumulative so if you plan to buy the plan for two years for for your PC so in that case you will have to pay for year one two it means that you have to pay for three years of plan that is ESU so that's all about the Windows 10 extended security updates and what will be happen after once the date is passed so I hope guys this video is really helpful for you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching